You guys ready? Dave here with Affordable Door and Gate. So we got one today. I want to. I want you guys to use this as a learning experience. It's very loud in there. Very loud. Here's the situation. We got a garage door here. This garage door we installed, I don't know, maybe a year or two ago for this customer. I'm going to take you in there. It's going to be loud. I, you're, I'll try my best to talk a little bit, but it's louder than it's not in there. <clears throat> the situation with this door, though, is we installed this, right? So this is an existing building. Now, I think what happened is, I, from what I understand, I could be wrong, there was a secretarial error in this. I always look at these jobs and I go, whoever's been here last, or whoever kind of controls this account, has to be the salesman. And what I mean by that is they have to be notified of any changes that go on to this customer. Because, so this door, when it was originally ordered, it was ordered wrong, I guess. We had to modify it. I don't know the whole details. I can't remember. I'm in kind of a little bit of a rush. I want to get in there and get this job going. And it's Friday, so I want to get it done, get it out of our lives. That's Mr. Caleb. Mr. Caleb's here to help. So we're ended up, we're gonna be in there. So this door modified already. So we already know that. So what happened is with the customer saying, hey, I just need another door, identical. Somebody didn't know that the door was already modified. And we could have went in there, we could have detailed it. And we might have saved ourselves some of this headache. So you can see the difference between the two. So let's go on and take a look. All right, so here's the original door. I don't remember the size. You can see they got all kinds of stuff in here. This last time, this one we thought was bad. Got a little man door right here. We gotta go through that door. I gotta get this. This door, for some reason, is off balance. It's probably because somebody modified to put vents in it. So this is a situation, you know, people don't see this. Your wives, your secretaries, some of your customers, a lot of people. A lot of people don't see this stuff. So we're gonna go through here. So in here it's not so bad, it's actually heated. In here it's cold. We got a fan blowing. It's smoky in here. Yeah, that's smoke. We got this machine in the way. Not a very nice environment. Not a very nice environment at all. So you can see the dynamics of this, how this changed. This changes everything. If we would have had somebody here to detail this, we could have said, hey, this is gonna cost more money. We know that we got a pipe in the way. So we're getting this all modified. The guys are struggling to figure out how we're gonna do an angle there. So I'm here, I'm trying to get this job done, man. This has become a nightmare. It's been, it's been holding our lift hostage. It's not been a good situation at all. So we're gonna get started. We'll see what we come up with. We're gonna go below the pipe, so I'm not sure I'm gonna mount the Springs up there, but you know what? Uncle D will figure it out. I will make it happen somehow, some way. We think we got the right springs. We already cut the wrong springs the first time. So we're gonna get up in this lift and we're gonna see what we can do. I'll let you know some updates. So I got Caleb working on getting the bolt out right now, but I wanted to explain to you kind of what I'm thinking here. It's smoky in here, it's bad, it's real smoke. So I'm, I gotta think about the next person, which is, I'm not, I'm not 100% if I wanna run a piece of angle from here to this beam on a big old angle so it clears up this space. Because the reason they, they put this garage door in is they're gonna move this machine out of here. I hopefully get a new one that don't stink or it doesn't leak as bad as this one. So otherwise I could run it, I could run it from there I could run a piece, and what I would do is I'd run a piece long ways here so I have room to move. The problem is, is I can't get back there with the lift. So I have to do some real MacGyvering to get back there. So I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna get back there. So I might just run a piece midway here, bolt it. I'm thinking right now I'm gonna go that route. I'll put a piece of angle up there. We'll do that. Obviously, you can see what we got here. We got the condo in the way. It's all kinds of crap in the way. Door's been had to, had to be modified a lot. Hopefully, you can hear me. It's so loud in here. So that's what we're up against. Still debating if I want to put a chunk of wood up. I don't know if I got one. 
I got to first figure out where everything's going to land. So right now I'm just trying to get my bearing plates on there. Let's take a look here. This is what we're fighting. Problem is, if you normally go where you normally would, it's too high. We're going to hit this conduit. So we're going to have to bring it down a little bit. But I can't go too low, otherwise my door, when it comes up, is going to hit my drum. So we got a little bit of modifying. We're going to have to probably drill through these thick plates, man. These are thick steel. So it's going to be a little bit. But we're getting there. How do you eat an elephant? One inch at a time. So I can't go back and forth. Uh, I like to put a tripod up and show you what I'm doing, but I I can't because I don't have my other adapter. I have to shorten the cables. I got Caleb drilling all the plates right now. That's how much I got to take off. A lot of times, if this can be avoided, it saves so much time. People don't realize how much more effort it takes to customize things. You know, the tools. Look at all these tools. It's a mess. And this lift does not want to lift all this weight, so it's it's just it's not a very fun job at all. It's smoky in here. Well, I gotta cut the next cable. I gotta go back down and grab it. So on to making more cables. Alright you guys. Laser is saving the day here reason being is I, I, I shot it across because I wanted to know where our bar was going to go and as I did that I could see I'm, I'm putting a center of shaft right there and when it was coming across it was totally off on this side so Caleb's actually got the bearing plate we're going to drill another hole into it the best we can we don't have a block of wood up here a little sketchy so what I did is a trick is you, you gotta always use your resources. So I'm checking the block. I bet I guarantee the block layer took some pride. Now that's not always the case. The block layers normally take pride in their work. And so I, I looked at the dimensions of look at where that that grout line is to where the line is, it's pretty even across, even across. So that tells me either something with our track is off or where I mounted it. And then after I did it, I realized if I look at where this is cut and I measured off the top of it, which was my fault, this line here, this, this distance, so that distance over there is not right. It's off. See how that one's right up almost to the mud line there? So that was my fault. But it's, it's like a good heavy and a half inch, inch and a half. So... We're having fun, but I'm glad the laser, the laser saved the day. Got a nice uh, metal beam there, nice and solid, so we should be able to get our springs mounted up here. Once Caleb gets uh, drilled out. Another thing I wanted to mention was the reason why you might not want to get a fatter lift. You know, it'd be nice to have a wider lift for all this stuff, but we wouldn't fit in here. Look at how close we are to this. You know, we wouldn't fit between there and the door with a big old fat lift in here, so this works out pretty good. Where's lunch? Alright, let's get to work. What's nice too about the laser is I can put the brackets up there and I can see where, the, where that shaft's going to go. Scaled first time. You're getting it. I think you're off your mark though. There you go. The bit is going the right way. It doesn't look like it though. Look at that focus. Determination. Commitment. He might have some long hair, but he's a good worker. He doesn't complain, he just gets right in there. Oh, it's hollow. Yeah, we knew it would probably be hollow block. That's all right. 
You're good. All right, we're gonna get to work. All right, the laser is saving the day. Shaft's looking good. See, the spring won't tell you, but we're sitting on the shaft. Put a spacer in it. Cause I got these weird bolts back here because this is so tight. So I got a regular nut back there. So I put this in here as a spacer. It'll work. Look at that. Love it. Get a center coupler on there. Looking good. I just want to show you guys, I'm just waiting for Caleb here. See that gap? Now we had to modify this, it's all been customized. See this gap? So it's a good thing I used that laser. Now I know at least my springs are level. Well, my drums and stuff, I should say. This is our fresh air coming in, it feels good right here, it stinks in here. Door sits okay. A little bit of a ledge right there. Nothing too major. We're getting ready. We're going to spray paint the springs. This one's got a line on it, but this one don't. So we're going to get the springs painted so the guy down here, you know, the next guy, if the spring comes undone, he can see it. And I, I went above and beyond. I could have done a solid shaft, one center brace, or one uh, spring mount pad there, but and then just crammed it down. But I'm looking for somebody that's going to possibly put an opener on here one day. So I'm just trying to help out the next guy. It will help even out the load too with there being two brackets there. Oh, what a job. What a job. Look how tight it is in here. Got a big old fan. Got a mess. That's nothing but a mess. Spilled. Oh man. The things people don't see. They don't see this stuff. They don't understand how long it takes to do this stuff. And it's all because of a calculation. If this would have got measured right, somebody would have detailed this. This probably wouldn't have happened. We got so much time now with garage doors, it takes so long to get them. You got to spend the time double, triple checking right now. You don't get doors in two to three weeks like you used to, so you gotta just do your do your details now. Boy's got some great paint. Alright, back to work. It's my party and I'll cry if I want to. Cry if I want to. Tell mama. Spray paint, like always. This side's all set. How oh, smoky. See the haze? Can you see the haze? Back there. Well, we're calling her quits for the day. We're not gonna push it. We still gotta do that header seal. We got bump stops. Pretty tight. We're smoked out. So we're gonna wrap it up and come back Monday. All right, so this job's wrapping up. Doing good, Caleb. So let's go over, here's this door. Not a bad looking door. Problem is, the crappy part is, we got two doors here now that don't work. 
is very good. They could be fixed, but at what cost? There's something to garage doors that if they're not engineered by the manufacturer for springs, I think the only way, and this is my opinion, the only way you can get them right is you gotta measure them. And we still sometimes can't even get them to the best. But you gotta measure them and then you gotta call like service spring I think is the best. When you try to deal with Wayne Dalton, full pay, they can't, they can't ever get it. So like this door, it's obviously changed. It's got vents in it, so that's taking some weight out of there. But this door actually, it moves, but it's heavy. Like look, like oh, it falls. This falls, and I know this one's been modified. I remember this one was done a while back. And it, I would come in here with a lift, but they got the stuff in the way. It's already been kind of a money loser. You can see those springs. See how close they are? There ain't much room. But I know this one got done wrong. I remember that. We had to cut and modify this one. And it's pretty straightforward. I don't know why. I forget what happened so much on this. But uh, it's just not, the springs aren't quite right. This one, this one's balancing out funny too. It's kind of heavy. And then it's, it rockets. It rockets up. A lot of people on this one, huh? I'm assuming you don't have to worry about sealing it up too good. They got a fan, sucks air out of here. Another fan over there, just right there, it's loaded in. Got the springs and everything mounted up there. I put some bump stops on it. See how I did that angle? I did that because I wanted it to be somewhat out of their way when they take machines out, and we couldn't really get back there because the machine's in the way. Or there's a blower. So it's got bump stops on there. See the bump stops. It needs those bump stops. That door is a rocket. It's not uncontrollable, but it's it's just, it's a rocket. So, this one's getting wrapped up, you guys. Can't say I'm real proud of it, that's for sure. I think there's some things to be learned. Definitely always do your details, always. Remember, whoever's in charge, is, whoever's been last that job, I always look at it like they're the salesmen. They need to be contacted because they know the building. It's like this building now. I know these doors. If somebody tells me about these doors, I know what they're talking about. I've been here. I've touched things. I've touched this. I know what's going on here. I know the atmosphere. So, but all you can do is try to do better, right? This door I'm looking at, it looks like it's crooked. See daylight over here, not over there. Look at that roller. That roller's got space. I don't know. Like I said, I, I, I... I do it free of charge, but I can't get in here easily. And I ain't got time to deal with uh, forklift and all that. So, like I said, the store, look, it's a rocket. It's dead, I'm not saying it's a rocket, it's dead. So, anyways, we're gonna wrap her up. We're going to get out of here. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks for coming along. Wish it was a little better outcome, but sometimes it is what it is. Take care.